Alexander Wallen's on, Wallen's on the drums there again. It's just it's it's I end here, and then I go another two bars. Just feels the, the, the whoever programmed the endings on the Boss RC10 needs to learn how to play it's the just drums. A metal. They anyway, just, oh, a metal. Pete. Yes, Lee. What decade were you born in? Uh, I was going to say the 90s, <laughs> but it's all wrong. It's the 80s. What? No, it's not. It's the 70s. The best Was that the best decade all... ever? The best decade ever to be born in, I think. I think so. Well, 1870, by the, the way. 1870s. <laughs> Absolutely, when you had Wagner and Bach and I don't know who was around. And the Debussy, you know, never finish on the Bach. You can't finish. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, yes, the 1970s uh, was um, a great year for rock music. Many, many bands, you know, from around the world wrote some amazing songs. Many, many bands. <laughs> many, many bands. No, it's, I can't think of many, any. Many, no, bands. many, many bands. Many, many bands. Tremendous <laughs> bands. Tremendous, but nobody knows more about music bands than, than bands than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, anyway. Sorry. So, it's all right now. Exactly. I think now we so, can do it. We can do it. So, absolutely. So, and Fender, of course, were making guitars then. Um, <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, sorry, and, man. Go on. You know, some of the things that um, kind of epitomized that era were things like some of the bigger headstocks the the, the different kinds of um three bolt neck designs yeah yeah we've got the all six kinds strings. of stuff yeah six strings six yeah, strings that, that, that six tuner pegs and six holes here now and... <laughs> thanks to you you guys know that we love a fender special run uh, called <laughs> fsr it's got to FSR. it's got to um, <laughs> and you know a lot of the fsrs that you see through andertons are designs that pete and i have discussed or the guitar team here generally have discussed and we've gone to fender with and said can the we do fights, that fights man the but, fights we have over these things but we cannot claim credit for these <laughs> these are um i believe these were conceptualized if that's Ooh. such a word <laughs> yes slightly <laughs> different to uh, conceived uh, or it could have been conceived. No, conception. Conceptulation. Is that a word? Conceptulation. I don't think That's so. That's what we do every Saturday today. when there's clean duvets. Uh, oh, sh no. Sheets and Quick, duvet. move on. So these <laughs> were um, conceived, conceptualized by, by an American retailer Populate. who I think, and I'm going to potentially get this wrong, I think it's AMS. Which is AMS or Z sounds, isn't it? You've two. got AMS, uh, an HDMI, <laughs> yeah, HDMI, micro SD, and uh, all HDMI. sorts of other uh, diseases. With AMS, acronyms. that's a good one, isn't it? They're good guys. They're, American they're great music guys. supplies. Lovely anyway, guys. if guys. it wasn't them, I apologise. It's someone else. Uh, but I believe they did these um, Fender special runs. Two two guitars, a seventy Strat, based on the Ventera seventy Strat, mm. uh, but now with a hardtail and Custom Shop 69 pickups. That's that. That's some of the. That's some of the sick. Yeah. They're sick, bro. And some a couple of, of cool different colours. So Proper we've got Jimmy. a maple, a maple neck one here. And again, they've all got the period correct kind of neck carve. So slightly different carve to a to a C shape 60s. It's got a little bit extra on the sort of what do you call this part of the Girth. neck? A little bit girth. The, most shoulder. More girth shoulder. Crooks. Played for Spurs in the girth 80s. The, no, that's the, Garth Crooks. Don't tell my heart. No, no. <laughs> Gerth Brooks, Gerth my achy breaky heart. Gerth Brooks, <laughs> the, the, uh, the country famous country and western. western singer. Goodness me, it's oh, the we, end of the day. It's so, just... Anyway, so you've got two models in the Strat. You've got a maple neck in black and you've got the pow Ferro neck. Pow Ferro. <laughs> Uh, in was that Aztec time gold? To go home. I think it's Aztec it is, gold. It is, or or it could be one of the, what's the other one? Uh, Shoreline, couldn't it? Or oh, could be Shoreline gold. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, that will appear on screen now. Yeah, but that's gorgeous. So I this might one. as well give you some tones from the Strat. So hard tail. It doesn't just mean that there's no whammy woo wah. It also means that it's strung through the body like this. So again, you know, a bit of a fatter kind of tone. Who's got a uh, uh, a very famous uh, hard tail Strat? Who is a very funky player? Um, his 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 uh, first name begins with Nile, and then his is second this... name is with Rogers. <laughs> is Nile Rogers a hardtail strap? Yeah, it's, it's a fifty-nine. Yeah, it's a fifty-nine. Uh, because in fifty-nine they made some hardtail strats, and his one is a hardtail strat. And I I actually played a left-handed nineteen fifty-nine in a studio somewhere. I in, did not know that. Yeah, I see this guitar. Did. And no. I kind of, I think I think of Richie Blackmore. Yes, but um, that's, it, I'm saying the hard tail. because it's black, and uh, maybe I see less Richie Blackmore there. The Goldmore here. Isn't you've it? got the Richie Goldmore. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. So you've got the bullet truss rod, the, the 70s tuners, the, the, the three bolt neck design, kind of all the things that made a 70s Strat sort of iconic. Um, and yes. so here are some tones, starting with the neck pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Different feel when you've got the completely lacquered neck. Everything feels more slippy slidey. You're saying nines, that the strings... Nines on a, on a... This feels like eights or something because the neck is so slippery. I, I agree. <laughs> they, they are... Especially string fruit. They, they need. They need to. Ah, do they? I mean, we're, we're, um, it is what it is. You put whatever <laughs> strings you like on it. <laughs> they think so. That's a good sound. <laughs> no, I love the little. That's a good sound. You play. You play. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, I like that. <sighs> Neck pick, bridge pickup. Oh, I'm really pickups. liking the, the neck pickup here. Oh, Very fast. Too, man. Custom Shop 69 pickups. Now, I think, again, if you want to go and buy a set of Custom Shop pickups, expect to pay, you know, 2 two fifty for a set of three pickups. Yeah, um, especially the 69s. And I'm going to tell you the price of this shortly. Um, here is a mild drive from a Dane. This is with a Nobles pedal now for a bit more drive. I think that's the first is, time we played A to F in this. In the I can't remember video. the last time we played an F chord. No, I think that <laughs> <laughs> is. So look. That's these, and I wish I could remember how much they were because I vaguely remember them being very exciting. Yeah, I vaguely remember going, oh, that's unbelievable. So here we are. Bear with, 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 bear with. Yeah, that's monster. It's seven ninety nine. It is seven ninety nine. That's less than a normal Vintera, isn't See, it? I remember things like that. We've, so. <laughs> we've, perhaps we've got this wrong. I don't know, but yeah. So seven ninety nine yeah. uh, for in either color on the Strat, but it's a special this, run. So I'm pretty sure when they're gone, they're gone. When they're gone, they're gone. Um, and this is gone, Power Faro neck, by the way. So it is. It's a Power Faro, and you can get the Monty's uh, Monty Espresso if you want to uh, make these dark. Can I can I show you just very very quickly because that's can. such a great place for the the Monty's yeah. uh, relic wax he calls it relic wax relic wax here's a guitar with a power ferro fretboard that I've applied the relic wax to three times, kind of two or three times yeah, two three times look so I mean it's not That's quite it as before. dark as oh, absolutely it's not quite as dark as rosewood but compare it to what it was when it originally came in when it was that color it makes a big difference. And I think the relic wax is about 15 quid for a pot. And there's a, <laughs> give it back. And there's enough relic wax in there to last a lifetime. I know, yeah, it's, um, uh, there's a lot. So check that out. Maybe someone will put a link in the description below of, for that as well. Let's hope so. But before we do that, Lee, please like and subscribe to the video. <laughs> subscribe. Anyway, no, this is the Telecaster. So again, two colors, one with the Palfaro, uh, but this one has got twisted telly. Custom shop twisted telly. Custom shop twisted telly. Um, I mean, seventies, seventies uh, <laughs> uh, telecasters. I remember having a seventy. Oh, can't remember, but I did have the. Um, yeah, I was got a bit confused. Maybe, maybe the tellys never had the three bolt nets yeah, on them. Maybe they only had, had the four. Had bolt, a seventy four strat, natural strat, and then tellys was the one I made one. But you can see here's the tell uh, fifties, seventies, fifty, sixty, forty nine, yeah. sixty. Here's the tuners. And, here's the uh, <laughs> and here's the, some tones into the bad cat cop. Oh. 40. I just love a telecast. Can I? Interesting uh -huh. as well, uh -huh. you've got the slightly smaller steel bullet bridge saddles on this, which uh -huh. again is, is vintage correct. Yeah. Um, I would put on some, some brass saddles on here. Well, if you wanted it's it to not be like a 70s telly. Yes, but then it's quite it's funny because the brass saddles are actually less singy than the steel ones. In my opinion, like sometimes Maple board, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Maple, is slightly less uh, bright than Rosewood is. What? When? Yes. <gasps> Don't rubbish. Don't even go there. No. Anyway. Why do you shake the neck? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the middle position.
It's like a country version of You Shook Me All Night Long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the bridge. These uh, Twitter tell you I've got in the Brit Daniel Thin Line. Try to say that funny when fast when you've. Been Is it? Your, I thought uh, you put the DP fifty ones in there. I haven't yet, no, oh. because I'm actually enjoying them because they've got a slight different flavour to it. And what's in the purple? The purple the original purple. No, the original one was yeah. a twisted telly at the bridge and, and an old caster. Oh, which way round? Uh, Twisted Telly, no right, caster. Okay. But here's the thing, because actually, if you go on to Monty's, which made the the, uh, the DP51 set, when they they realised that actually they weren't exactly that, so they were different. And he was like, "What I think has happened because these there was three of those purple tellies, and it, it went. It was a um, uh, it was Frankfurt mm -hmm. in '14, I think 2014." And because when they make these, the neck, you remember, we had the, the oh, yeah, spec yeah. from was... the serial number wasn't exactly what it was. So in, he thought that maybe these pickups could have been some prototypes that was wound maybe in a certain way and it was top. But anyway, so I like the flavor of these. So, so, yeah, so, so we've gone all the way from what might have been in Pete's purple Telecaster to what's actually in this, this Telecaster. One. But it's so supposed these are to be there. custom shop twisted, twisted Tele yeah. pickups. Again, a yeah. couple of hundred quids worth of pickups, oh, right? Yeah, at least, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So uh, here's mm, sort of mild gain. It's good. It's middle, proper. Middle position. Two days. And I'm at... Something oh. about a telly that almost does that strat tone. And then the neck. It sounds much more, the Twisted Telly to me sounds much more like a Strat kind of pickup, you know? Oh! And then with a bit more gain. Tone control on the telly. I think that's that's it, isn't it? There's I mean, nothing else left to say, is there? Nope. There you are, YouTube. What's your favourite colour? Um, That's the one you need to buy, 7.99. It's a great price. Is it 7.99 as well for the tellies? I think so. With a gig bag? I think so. Wow! Correct me if I'm wrong, links below. Hey? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the links below. It's on fire, the link section below, isn't it? <laughs> Stop link section comments. So weird. Right, Come so on. there we are. Um, I'm going to play Thank you very much for Out. sticking around, watching another one of these crazy videos. Banter um, central today, and, man. Uh, yes, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. In fact, enjoy the rest of your life. Yeah. And um, juice, uh, juice in the morning because this happens. Is we, we have, what, like, are we jamming out? And, is, that, is that what you were <laughs> suggesting? Yes. Let's oh. do it. Okay, right. Please like and subscribe, and we love you more than you will ever imagine. <laughs> I think some of them have got some pretty vivid imaginations, in fairness, <laughs> but okay, let's go!